Hey, what's up Blender users, I'm Jonathan, and in today's video, we will try to recreate this product animation in Blender using drivers. The result can look something like this. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing, because I upload a new video every Saturday. And with that said and done, let's get straight into the video. For this tutorial, I prepared this can model. I will not show you how to create something like this, because the modeling process is pretty straightforward. Okay, we will start off by creating our little environment. For this we will need a plane as our background. So add in a plane, scale it up to your liking, for example, like this. And now we will go into edit mode and grab this edge, select the move tool and move it back, just like this. And we will also extrude this edge up. Now we can grab this edge and move it back. We can now press Ctrl and 4 or 5 to give it a subdivision surface modifier. Press W to shade it smooth and now we can go back into edit mode, select this edge right here and by pressing shift and E we can adjust how sharp we want this edge to look. We can also move this now forward just a little bit so we get something like this. Okay maybe it is not wide enough so let's just scale it along the X axis. Great. Now we want to add our camera. To do this just press shift A, camera and we will go into front mode by pressing 1 on the numpad and then hitting Ctrl, Alt and 0, just like this. We can now adjust the camera height to our liking. Okay, now the camera move would be something like this, just forward and backwards, but the can is not moving correctly. So let's go ahead and position this can accordingly. I want the first can to be very close to the camera and now I can go into top mode Duplicate this can, move it backwards and do this one more time, just like this. And now we have our setup going. But before I show you how to create our movement with the drivers, let me introduce you to a new segment of my videos, which is the sponsored segment. Because this video was sponsored by BenQ. About two weeks ago they sent me their new product, the screen bar. And this is basically a monitor light which helps you in your home office. Once assembled, I could easily fit it on my monitor and everything worked like a charm. But what makes this lamp such a great product? Well, it's not only because you can easily adjust the brightness and color temperature with an inbuilt touchpad or the fact that it has a color rendering index of more than 95. What really got me interested in the screen bar is that this lamp does not produce any glare on your screen. Yeah, you heard right there. It does not create any hotspots or spill light on your monitor while working with colors and 3D and actually stuff that relies on a clean environment. And you can really see this if I turn this lamp on. There's no light being casted on the monitor and only my desk is illuminated. And this is great for me and every other artist who works a lot with colors. And if you're not completely convinced of this product yet, their new technology they use in the screen bar also helps to reduce eye strain and helps your eyes while looking at your monitor by creating a perfect contrast. So if you now want to find out more about this lamp, you can visit the first links in the description. And let's get back to the video. So again, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the movement of the cans. I want to control the cans by moving the camera on the Y axis. So we can select the camera, go into its transform properties and right click on the Y value. Now we can see the option copy as new driver. Let's click on this and let's select our first can. Let's also go in the objects properties panel and right click on the X location. Now we can select paste driver and you can now see that the can has moved. If I now move the camera the can will move to the sides. But of course something is off because we want the X location to be zero when the camera is at this position. So let's select the can right click on the driver and select edit driver. We can now see that our value right now is minus 7.965. So let's select scripted expression and write plus 7.965 just like this. And now we can see that our location is basically zero. So let's go into camera view, select the camera and move it on the Y axis. And we can now see that the can is moving to the sides. Great. Now we have to rotate our can accordingly. To do this we can also right click on the Z rotation and select paste driver. We can now see that it got rotated. If I now select the camera, 
and move it along the y-axis, we can see that the can is rotating. This gets a lot more noticeable in the material preview mode. Ok, great, now we have to repeat the same process for our other cans. So select the second can, right click on the X location and select paste driver. For this can I want it to move in the opposite direction. So we will have to edit the driver and then again select scripted expression, but this time I want to multiply the location by negative 1. So this will flip sides. Now we can just subtract 7.965 just like this to get it back to its original location. If I now move the camera, you can see that this moves correctly. And we can repeat the same step for the Z location. Just like this. And everything is working just fine. I want the second can to move a bit slower, so right click on the driver, edit driver, and we can now multiply everything by, for example, 0 0.5, just like this. And if I now move the camera, you can see that this can moves a lot slower. And in camera view, this looks a lot better. Okay, the last can should only rotate. So let's again select the camera, copy the Y location as a new driver, select the can, and then paste it in here. And now if we move the camera, we can see that the can is spinning around its Z axis. And this actually now looks really good. The last step would be to light our scene. So let's firstly give the background a blue color because I think blue works best in this case. And we can also adjust the roughness to our liking, just like this. Now let's go into the rendered mode, add in a area light, move it up and for example move it a bit to the side. Make it a lot bigger and also set the power to something like a thousand or maybe even higher, 3000. 3000 looks good. Now let's duplicate this area lamp, rotate it again, just like this. And to give it more realism, we can add an HDRI. And there you have it. This is how to create a simple product animation using drivers in Blender. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. And we're gonna see us in the next video.